So I had this camera for over a year now, about a year and a half. I purchased it for the main reason that we were going to Fraser Island and at the time my only budget was under 50 bucks. I, I think I purchased it for like 35, 39 dollars or something. Um, it says it records in full HD 1080p. Um, the following footages that, you'll, that I'll show you on the screen are the actual footages I got from this camera. In Fraser Island, the whole time we were there, blue sky, um, sun was up, and you'll notice straight away that uh, the video quality is quite yellowish. Um, I took it underwater, and um, same sort of quality, a bit yellow, um, but for the price, you can't really complain, can you? you? You wouldn't expect GoPro quality with that price. So it did its job and took some footage for me. The closest thing that I can compare it with now is my dash camera, which is priced at just under 100 bucks, I think. So it's more than double the price of this one, but it's obviously a dash camera. But if you look at it on the screen, it records way better quality than this one. So I think my um, suggestion, one of my suggestions would be if you don't have a dash camera and if you only need onboard footage, I'd rather go a dash camera because you know that records better and you got it's multi-purpose you can use it as a dash camera so this one comes with um, a mount um, just like your GoPro out of the box it comes with your cable uh, it does have your micro USB for your charging it's got a uh, mini HDMI output so you can plug it straight to your TV to watch the footage it takes micro SD cards battery life um, if I remember correctly I got at least or around about half an hour usage out of this so it's not too bad so it's pretty easy to operate really so you've got the four buttons so turn it on just hold that for a bit and it's pretty quick it turns on as soon as the screen comes up ready you can hit the top button to start recording so the the um, the time it takes to get it ready is pretty quick really so it's good and then, um, so that's that's it, that's recording. To stop it, press the button on top again to stop it. And you can shuffle between modes. So if you just press, that's the mode button. So that's video, it defaults on video. Press it again and you'll see the screen flick. And from there, that's, that brings it to the um, photo function. So you can take photos just by clicking on the top button there. So I took a photo of that one. And you can press it again, mode, and flex it onto any recorded video or photo. So it, go, it brings you to the gallery. And you press it again, and it takes you to settings. So from there, you can then use the up and down arrow to run through the settings. And then that's your OK button up there. So if you go video size, press OK. You can select the video size. And to go back, just press the mode button takes you back to the main menu and to get out of everything you just keep pressing the menu button takes you back to your live screen and to turn it off you just hold and press the menu button again and it turns off so to open up the case all you do is look at the top if you can see that there's an arrow that points that way so just it's quite hard but just flick it that way and at the same time if you see there's a corner that sticks out this corner here so lift that corner up like so so it's pretty easy actually and then it opens up the case like so and out comes your camera and to close it obviously just do the reverse lock it in place and you can just literally push that down You've got your mounting point for any of your stands or mounts or anything like that, just like your GoPro. So the long and short of it all is if your budget is under 50 bucks, then yes, I would recommend getting one of these because you don't really have a choice. Uh, it's better than not taking any footage at all. But if you're willing to spend more than that, closer to 100 bucks, I would go for other cameras. I don't know how those other cameras are, but I would um, still you know spend some more money and hope that that's better than this one so there you go that's my unbiased review of this action camera hope that give, gave you some insight and helped you make some decisions so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video